Hello, lovely people of the internet. I am Damien Geppetto, and I am here to show you how to start a new city in the new update Economy 2.0 for City Skylines 2. That's right, we're gonna do a quick walkthrough on how to build a new city, how to get in the green with your budget so that you can do whatever you wanna do. There is an easy, easy trick to making money in the game, and I'm gonna show it to you. It will mitigate everything for you. It took me a while to figure this out, but now that I figured it out, oh man, the game is just as easy as it was before, but there's still that challenge because you got to balance the budget, so you can't just go crazy. Spend millions and millions and never go in debt, but you can make millions, that is for sure. So stick around after the intro here. We're going to start a new game here on the Archipelago Haven, just because it's the first map, it's got the lowest amount of buildable area. So this would technically be the hardest map for available land. So we're gonna show you how to do it on this map because I don't have a city on this. And then we'll go ahead and make another video for you showing you how to save your old cities once you reload them and all of a sudden you're negative all this money and you're like, ah, how do I save it? Ah, what do I do? Don't worry, there'll be another video to show you exactly how you do it. But watch this video because this will give you the hints and you might even be able to figure that out before I record and edit that video up. So stick around and we will show you everything shortly. Okay, city is gonna be called Soroth. We're gonna just leave everything standard. Tutorials are disabled. You do not need to click the unlimited money and the unlock map tiles. If you do that, you lose your achievements. And you know what, it's just damn easy. So we're gonna name our city Soroth and we're gonna go. Okay, so here we go. This is what we start on. And we got a nice little island on Archipelago that we're on. Beautiful little area to uh, expand into. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is usually lay out all of the roads, plan what you're gonna do. Until you get the first notch, you cannot adjust the taxes. And the secret to this, it lies in the taxes. So we're gonna show you all of the breakdowns, all of the insider information I've figured out. But what I highly suggest you do when you start a new save, first thing, Things first, you need power, you need water. Transformer station, do not worry about generating any power whatsoever from the jump. So the transformer station, we're gonna make it right here. We'll line it up with that. We're just gonna put the transformer station right there. We're gonna run a gravel road, less maintenance. We'll leave that for now. We're going to connect that eventually, but next would be water. So you got groundwater right here, but this only puts out 75,000. The water pumping station, so the groundwater is 40,000. The water pumping station is 25,000 and it will do 100,000 meters cubed. So it's cheaper and it gets you more water. Now, obviously you want to make sure that it's not downstream. So you want to put your sewage downstream, which means Oh, well, everything kind of comes in here. It's kind of difficult. Okay, so we're going this direction, going this direction, coming in, going this direction. And then it kind of has, okay, it goes this direction away. Oh, wow. This will be an interesting one. Where where do you put the sewage is the question. Because it kind of... Okay. But I, I, I like this kind of inlet here. I think this is good because you can put a few of these. We can just pump the water from here just make sure the sewage doesn't go into this direction. So we'll put this one right here, I think. Once again, water and electricity. Those are the two things you need to build first before, I tend to like to build them before I build anything else. So now we got that connected, we're just gonna connect them eventually. So we've got water down here, electricity there and we need the sewage outlet so since water is on this side we will dump the sewage off here um do we want to do the whole bay i think we're going to start there we'll go there and once again a little gravel road just to connect that up so we have an idea where they're at and then we're going to build out our roads what you're going to want to do here is the secret to make money in the game. It is the only free buildings you get the specialized industry. You can place forestry on all the forest. You can place chickens anywhere. 
you can place grain well look at this look at all of this look at all of this fertile land so the first thing you're going to do is place your electricities your water your sewage need those for the city to work right and then after that it doesn't matter we can put a farm here wheat so i'm going to do forest right here and we're going to do we can do wheat right here i think we're going to put it here that's going to capture the vast majority of it so we'll go like that and then we're going to want 90 degrees capture all of the fertile land so this will take some of the forest away but fertile land is more valuable you forest is all over the place so we go like this just make this as big as possible in the fertile land area for this wheat around the whole thing up to oh, let's just make all we need is a road going in so we'll go like that and like that boom once again gravel road for here connect that that's our wheat this is the key this is how you make money forest chicken wheat from the get-go and then when you and stone as well stone can go anywhere as well so what is this oh we've got a little bit we got a little bit of that this this is a really good island start okay so this is a really good starting location so we could put we could put a forest over here and capture most of this so put it like this and just specialize industry specialize industry specialize industry you want to max them out as big as you can build as few as you can as large as you can in the obviously in the very beginning of the game you are limited in the amount of space you can put stuff. But before you start planning your town, before you start building all of these buildings and zoning for residential and commercial and all that stuff, you need to first make sure that you're going to make money. And the way you make money in Economy 2.0 is very simple. It is specialized industry. So we'll put node there. And where's the complete? Complete the area. This one can connect right away because it's already here. We don't need to build anything special. I like to go straight on. So we'll go straight on. Boom. That one's connected. All right. I haven't unpaused at all. We've laid down one wheat. We've laid down a forest. Now we have chicken and stone. You want to lay all four of these and plan these. Now, obviously, I do not want to take up this fertile land. This will go for vegetables or cotton. And then th this one will go for the other vegetable or cotton. We'll pick vegetable, for example, here, cotton here. But we need chickens. So we're going to put probably another forest here when we eventually buy this area. We'll put a forest over here as well. And... This one could be a forest as well. We could have just we could just have three forests in this area, and since this well, this will be a little city. Maybe maybe this becomes the city. This will become a city. We'll we'll do this as forest. That that's that's wheat, and then this is forest. This is forest here. So we could always put a second forest here, um, and if we're gonna bring this down, I would think this is gonna be livable areas. So what we'll do is we'll put the chicken farm. here with what we're not doing with wheat we'll just we're just going to combine all of this stuff together and so we'll go 90 degrees trace it along the road as much as possible i think we'll just go straight over and this is chicken Oh, the only problem we have here is how are we going to build this road through there? I guess we can leave enough space. We'll leave enough space right here for the road to go through to there. Just like that.
And as you can see, you can just trace along. You just trace along the row. Once it says it doesn't fit, just go back a little bit, add a node. Really simple. Go back a little bit, add a node. If you want to be a perfectionist and just get it as perfect as you can around the whole road, maximize all of the space, that's how you do it. And we'll put it like right there and complete the area. Once again, gravel, gravel. Now, technically, you could cut down on the road just a little bit, expand it a little more when, when you're done here, once the road's built. So let's put this out now. We've got this. We'll go like that. We'll curve it. Go like that. And we'll curve it around like that. So we got this road now. All we got to do is extend that road and connect those two together. And then this one. Do the same thing. Oops. Drag a new node. Okay, so it's there. We need that. Do this first, then drag it down there. That, make a node, whoops. And we go like that. Maximize it out. We got stone left, so you start with four. So we got wheat, chicken, forest already done. Now we got stone left. Since we have done this side, I have a feeling what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little exclusive community over here, and then we're gonna build out over here. This is where the water comes. We might as well build out over there. This can be another forestry here. So this isn't big enough for a normal one. Hmm. Do we want to build out the whole stone or do we want to wait until we can buy some tiles and expand out into the actual ore and get coal going? We could do that, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to start, since this is where we've got, we're going to put stone right here. So that there's a little bit of room for a road to go through. Go back to here. and just make this as big as possible. Now that the road's there. No reason to have anything but the road going in. Okay. There's our four. Now, all we gotta do is lay out our town. So we're gonna continue like this. Since this will come down this way, we're going to continue this through there. And this is going to be another forest. So we're not going to even bother putting roads over that way at all. And we'll make this another four laner. Come off 90 degrees. And then we're going to curve it to go shooting down this direction. Okay. And that's going to gonna go towards the main island area. And like I said, we're going to make a little tiny neighborhood up here. This is going to be like the exclusive neighborhood, I guess you could say. So we'll go like that. And like that. Now we got this, so we can connect you. Just like that. I am a roundabout person, so I will quickly put some roundabouts in. The highway comes in from both directions. It goes underneath, and then there's these nice little on-ramps and off-ramps to get onto here. And this turns into 
Like it says this is a highway, but so, so the highway gets off and you get off onto two different sides. It's really beautiful. It's a real, this is a real beautiful, beautiful map. I like this. So we're just going to go two lane roads. Now we're going to make some neighborhoods. We're going to do the usual stuff. And this is not going to be a full playthrough. I'm just going to show you like, like what I would do. We'll go complex and put this bad boy down like this little little neighborhood road like that we'll put another one coming off this way that kind of mirrors the highway to put a little town there and then we'll hook you in like that right there so we've got ourselves a little spot there on that side let's see I think, I think we can do this just to make it work let's continue building we've got plenty of money we're not going to build any services or anything like that because the great thing about economy 2.0 folks is that you don't need to build any services at all you can get all your services imported from out of the city so you, you do not have to build any services whatsoever at the beginning of the game. No fire, no police, none of that stuff. All right, we're going to go like this. I think we're going to hook it more in the middle like that. And we're going to go along the edge here and we'll only build on the inside. And we'll hook it up to there. Put this like that. Gravel road to there. Whoops. Let's make this straight. 180 degrees. 180 degrees. That one does not need a roundabout, I don't think. And then we've got this needs to connect and I think we're going to connect it like this connect you to go through like this and like that just like that all right that's all connected that's connected all right so we got power sewer water all of our stuff is connected. We're going to unpause it. We're going to go three exit and we'll probably fast forward the video at this point. We can't even look at the budget screen. I'm going to show you the budget screen as soon as we get to city level one. To do that, we're going to have to lay some houses. So like I said, this is going to be the exclusive neighborhood. So we're going to put some fancy little houses on the water side. Some regular houses. Regular houses, regular houses. Normally I'm gonna uh, fill them in one at a time, but because this is a video for speed, we're gonna just fill this all in. This is gonna be all houses. Okay. And we'll put some businesses here. right there business right there and then we'll make a nice big business right there water sewer okay water sewer should work no power to you what's going on why is there no power aha aha we we have to connect these two sides so because it's a highway i did not think about this so we've got to connect you to you and that means we got to do Sewer, you, to you. Now it's working. I think what we'll do is we'll do this. We're going to run this gravel road through here. All right, we're going to run it like this. Ooh, ancient stuff and then 
right now is what you need to see is this. All right, so I started, I'm at negative 6,500, okay? I have not built any services whatsoever. No services whatsoever, no hospital, um, no fire, no police, none of that stuff has been built yet, okay? We need to build all of that stuff. Now you can do that. Look, 6,500 minus, with this but we're going to turn this all to a positive because taxation is the key here now the secret to taxation is the happiness meter right here they love their homes unreliable health care so we just need to build them a hospital a little medical clinic We'll do that next. But the first thing you need to do, keep your residential taxes at 10%. Always keep the residential at 10%. If you want more commercial buildings, you can keep them at 10. You can charge 11s a little bit, 12, they start to say high taxes on that. But the thing is, the complaint, the minus unhappiness is only if you raise residential taxes. So you could crank commercial up to 30% if you want. I'm gonna put it commercial up to 12. We're gonna put commercial up to 12. We, we just laid out the industry. We're gonna put the industry up to 12, but we're gonna do something special here. All of the raw materials, all of the free buildings that we've laid down, we're gonna crank that up to 30% taxes, folks. All of the raw stuff, 30%. So even before you build them, metal ore, crude, vegetables, paper, and wood up to 30%. This is the first thing you should do when you hit level one. Crank all of these up to 30%. Rock, livestock, cotton, 30%. And I think that's it. That is it. So those are up to 30%. You go to the budget, boom. We went from minus 6,000, 7,000 ish, to plus 43,000 by just adjusting the taxes on our services, on the industry, on the specialized industry up to the max. That's all you have to do and just cash in on it. So to make our people happy, we're gonna lay a medical clinic down. And I think right about here is probably a good spot to put the medical clinic, right in the main part of town. So we're, we're gonna do this actually. I'm gonna lay it right here and then we'll do Two-lane road, connected to it. And we'll do curve U. No, can't go in that way. Aw. So actually we'll do it like this. We'll just connect you straight, straight in right there. And we'll put another roundabout right there. And two lane. Okay, it doesn't connect to there. So I think what we do is, let's pause this up. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna connect that into there. I don't care about the early businesses that are gonna go away. you in like that to buy the tiles cost just doesn't just cost money it also all right so if the coal we could buy the coal here or st I th which one's better i think this is going to get us more we could probably just buy them all i think we're just going to buy into that direction it doesn't matter so we're going to go like this we're going to go like this okay so that's 116 tons 429 tons, okay. We're gonna buy these three like that. We're gonna buy these three. That's gonna be 54,000 tile upkeep. And you're like, whoa, you're spending 110,000. You got 55,000 in tile upkeep. Boom, immediately minus 40,000. Immediate tile upkeep. But we're still on pause here. Castle ruins. Well, let's put these right here perfect all right so let's build this main road out to here and these are going to be so we're going to assume this thing goes along here so we're going to put it like that and then we're going to go specialized industry coal Okay, so we went a little too far into the coal. We'll back that off, actually. It's all right, cost money, we screwed up. But we'll make that back. I ain't worried about it. We're gonna do this the right way. So that's fine. We're gonna 
hook this through here more through here more and then that's perfect all right You're right about there which one is going to get us more i think this will get us more so remember we were negative 40 something thousand right This is coal, so we're gonna make some money off of coal. Notice I, I did not build any sort. I didn't build any wind farms. I did not build any coal plants. We're buying all of our power because we're a small town. We can afford to do that. Eventually you're gonna wanna build your own stuff. I suggest you do wind power if you're really interested in doing power of your own. Uh, so if you can find a way to do wind power, that's the best way. Wind power is the best bang for the buck and it doesn't generate pollution, just air pollution. So there we go. There's coal number one right there. And we'll go like this. that just like that and so it starts out we're at negative 40,000 folks from buying that plot it's gonna take a while for that business to go up and going and let's see how we are we bought three tiles normally you're gonna want to buy one tile and expand some specialized industry buy another one expand it so we bought three tiles we went 45,000 that's that's exactly how much it costs what a tile up keep 52,000 so as you can see it has not kicked in the new business here. We are not making money off of that yet. We can lay, it, lay another one down that will be making money as well. So like, let's just go like this. Lay you out. Which way are we going first? Okay, so this way. So we'll So we'll lay these two and it's free to lay these down if you didn't catch that earlier specialized industry are free and they generate cash for you this is how you stay in the green with your budget so we're just going to lay these two down off of the tiles that we've purchased oops where's the complete complete there we go gravel here put a little round about there since there's two of them and so this is the sewer I guess we can build some coastline houses right here And this is how I typically will adjust it so that you don't have the same exact type of houses. You go three by threes in the beginning to make a little bit bigger houses. But I, I'll, I'll do this so that they're not all the same. So that they're varied up when they fill in. Did not have that connected. So let's see, minor little errors. Catch those. So we'll put a business right there. We'll put a business right there and right there. Okay. Gravel road. Just like that. So we're making cash. What's going on with the wood? What is up with the wood here? Where did we put the wood at? This is where we put the wood at, right? Oh, it's rock. We did rock instead of wood here. Rock here. Okay. Did we not lay wood? Produces grain. Produces livestock. Okay, so we did not lay wood. So I made a mistake. I forgot about the, the wood. 
We did two rocks. That's rock and that's rock. This is supposed to be wood here, but we, we did rock instead. So we'll just put the wood here. Since we already got the gravel road here, we might as well just take advantage of it, make some more cash, and there we go. That's all you need for this video, folks. As you can see, specialized industry is how you balance your budget. Now, you can go crazy like I did here and give yourself a nice cushion, and then you can lay everything you want down. Lay down your garbage, lay down your police, lay down your fire, lay down parks, do whatever you want to do, expand everything. I'm big on education. This is how you balance your budget. It really, really is this simple. I, I mean, I don't know how else to explain it to you. Specialized industry. Go. Just build specialized industry. That's all you need to do. Just build that specialized industry. And as you can see, I, I'm going to run this forestry right along the back of this, of this neighborhood I made. It's just right along the back of that neighborhood. We're just going to, we're going to trail everything perfectly. complete that area all right you can see we're in the green here 187,980 euros a month in the green all from specialized industry and setting the taxes appropriately on that specialized industry once again i'm going to go over the taxation structure so you can see it we have 10% residential, always keep your residential 10%. I have commercial at 12%, you can run 10%, you can run 20%, you can run 30 It doesn't affect the happiness. Once again, industrial the same way. You could run at 10%, you could run at 12%, you could run at 30%, it doesn't matter. But always run your specialized industry, the commodities, 30%. Grain at 30%, vegetables at 30%, crude oil, metal ore at 30%, wood at 30%. Coal at 30%, rock at 30%, livestock at 30%, cotton at 30%. The wood hasn't even kicked in yet, folks. And we are already making 187,000. That means we're going to be making 200K every single month once that wood kicks in. So stop fretting. It's all about the specialized industry. So this is what you do to start a new city in the green. And the same thing is going to be done for your old cities, but I'm going to show you how to save it because you're going to have plenty of open space on those old saves that you expect it out you built what it didn't matter before economy 2.0 as you can see they want hearses they want me to build a graveyard we're not going to hold up this video any longer once again if you enjoy this content please like and subscribe i will make more city skylines 2 content in the near future and i do thank you damien geppetto out